Diary, good evening. It's Thursday, uh, February the 13th, uh, 2020. Uh, I'm here in the study in England, and I finally got to the bottom of Windows Server 2019 Bluetooth keyboard compatibility. Um, first of all, I'll start off with an old English phrase, which is, uh, you wait for a bus for ages, or, or in my case, you wait for a working Bluetooth keyboard for ages, and then all of a sudden, two come along. So, up until today, the only keyboard that would work with my um, Windows 2019 server system, which has Bluetooth uh, in, in the code, was a Drevo caliber keyboard. Uh, and whilst that keyboard was, was, was great to use to the touch, it had some severe drawbacks in that I couldn't actually see the top line of the keys because they were kind of done in some sort of strange gamer font. Um, and the keyboard also had lots of extra features I'll never use, like lots of lighting lighting effects. So, I did with some more keyboards, having already had four failed keyboards, and the following two keyboards work, and now I understand exactly why. So on the top, we have uh, the Logitech MX Keys Advanced Illuminated Wireless Keyboard. It's a £100 keyboard from Amazon. And below, we have the Rapu 9300M multi-mode wireless ultra slim desktop keyboard. Um, we'll start with the Rapu first. Um, it's a nice keyboard. Potentially it's a better size than the, the Logitech keyboard because I like smaller keyboards um, and I don't really need an, a dedicated uh, numpad. Um, but what I do need is the uh, page up and page down keys. <clears throat> And so I could use those keys here as dedicated keys. So this keyboard in principle has everything that I would like. Um, on the downside, it doesn't have any illumination. And on another down, downside point, um, to get to the non-function keys on this top row here, you have to press this key, shift key, to get to them. So these days, no one uses function keys. And these, these um, functions like volume up, volume down, next track, are actually quite useful under a Windows platform. Um, so yeah, that's not ideal. So what do you need to get a working Windows 2019 server keyboard on Bluetooth? And the answer is Bluetooth 4.0, i.e. Bluetooth Low Energy. So both of these keyboards can do Bluetooth 4 uh, operation, and they can also do Bluetooth 3 operation. Uh, and in fact, these two keyboards can also do 2.4 gigahertz because they come with a, with their own dedicated dongle. So they're very versatile. Both of them are very versatile keyboards. Um, and as per previous posting, I wanted to only use Bluetooth because it seems to me that under USB and a high high throughput situations on my server, uh, I seem to be getting strange delays on 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 any USB device. So it's essential that I use Bluetooth, therefore I need a working Bluetooth keyboard. And that's the secret. The secret is you need a keyboard that has Bluetooth 4. So in fact, when I use the Bluetooth 3 interface on either of these keyboards, I get the error on a screen somewhere. Driver is unavailable. So on a Bluetooth 3.0, on a Windows 2019 server system running Bluetooth, connect on Bluetooth 3, you'll get driver is unavailable and that's the case now for two so for six keyboards out of six uh, which connect on Bluetooth 3 you get driver unavailable so I'm pretty sure it ain't gonna work with Bluetooth 3 right so we're down to two keyboards these are the two favorite keyboards the Rapu keyboard is not bad it's 30 something pounds and includes a mouse the mouse is pretty annoyingly rubbish so I, I wouldn't recommend it but the keyboard is is good and this keyboard just to just to reiterate it connects on Bluetooth 3 on Bluetooth 4 it can connect to three different systems um, and then you can connect you can switch between them and it's also got a 2.4 gigahertz capability so very very versatile keyboard only 30 pounds including the mouse okay so let's get that out of the way and let's focus on this beautiful keyboard. So I've settled on this keyboard. It is quite expensive, um, but, but I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, it's made from metal. It's a single piece. It's got USB 
uh, sorry, it's got, it's got a rechargeable battery inside this keyboard, and it's got USB uh, charging point, which I very much like. That were the times. Um, secondly, it's got sort of US and UK keyboard layouts. Now, currently, I've only got it working against the UK layout. It's, a, it's on the to-do list to find out how, but if you can see, for example, the, the keys here, you, it's currently working on the right-hand edge of the key, so you've got the hash, or the uh, sort of tilde key here, and here you've got the backslash and the pipe key. So there is a, there is a way, I'm sure, to get the other way around, in which case you'll have um, basically an alternative keyboard layout. So anyway, it's a very versatile keyboard. Like the uh, Rapu keyboard, it has Bluetooth 3, Bluetooth 4, and comes with a, a dongle, a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Um, other features are, it's actually got a backlight. So it's, it's got a proximity sensor, so you can actually, uh, as you put your hands to the keyboard, or as you touch the key, the, the, the keyboard will light itself up, but you can manually adjust the, the backlight here. Other features that make this, this keyboard a winner to me are the fact that it's very, very cleanly legended. So um, what the, the Drivo keyboard had, it's Achilles heel for me, was that the top line of keys had multiple functions, and I really, really couldn't dissee the functions, even though I'm a touch typist. Uh, this, as you can see, has, has a clear set of uh, dedicated function keys at the top. So, for example, that's keyboard light up, that's keyboard light down. Um, we've got keys that, that work under Windows very well, which is, for example, the volume keys. Um, and then you've got a set of programmable keys. So this is extremely interesting. So these keys here um, have some legends. Can you see that? These keys here have some legends. But for example, although this key has a lock legend on it, and this key um, has a calculator on it, that's the default action. You can reprogram that key to all sorts of things. Now you need to have a Logitech Options application. And I'm reading for the menu now. I've got the application menu. I can have launch an application. I can start action center. I can do advanced click. I can do back. I can start calculator. I can close the desktop. So you can you can reassign some of these keys to many many different functions. I'm trying to get the uh, yeah. So all all of these keys and all of these keys can be reassigned, and you can just start your own custom application. Uh, for example, for the camera, I've reconfigured that to start the Irfan view application. So I use that for um, cutting and pasting images or cropping them or making some some basic effects to images. So whenever I press this key, Irfan view will start. Um, so yeah, it's a Logitech uh, MX Keys keyboard. It's £100. It's absolutely fantastic in my view. The only one thing that's bugging me with this keyboard um, is that this shift key is quite small, so at the moment I keep hitting the caps lock key. Uh, there seems to be no way to reprogram these keys around um, under, under, under the Logitech application. Um, the shift key here, it's the way I touch type, I always use the left hand shift key unfortunately, so I'm going to have to break the, uh, the, 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 the learning of a lifetime and, and do it properly, which is to use both shift keys depending on which, which key you're capitalising. Um, but yeah, so it's that's the only that's the only minor, minor point. So it's Logic MSK keyboard. It's one hundred pounds from Amazon. Really, really rate the keyboard. It connects to Bluetooth three, Bluetooth four, and two point four gigahertz. Okay, Dari, thanks very much for watching. Bye.